All right, coaches, there was a play that I posted earlier today um, on social media, and it got a little bit of attention. So I wanted to come back and explain myself a little bit more, um, just in a little bit more detail <clears throat> of a few things that we're, we're trying to do here. Um, we're going to be in a set that we call Victoria right here. Okay, so we're in essentially a version of a double wing set. So let's let's go ahead and put the pieces in here. And I actually called this play sort of a hybridization of buck sweep and pin and pull, but I said it's not either one. And so kind of like I said, I want to frame this in a little bit different reference. It's essentially the same play as buck sweep, but it's also essentially the same thing as pin and pull with a very slight um, variation. And here's what it is. We're going to reach at the point of attack. Okay, so instead of a down block, we're going to have a true outside zone reach call unless the man inside of you is pulling. And our default rule is we're going to pull both guards. Okay, so by pulling those guys, I'm going to get a down and a down there. Okay, and then on the back side, we're going to pull everybody we can. Okay, well, that tackle has no down block, so he's pulling. The tight end is reach blocking, okay? Well, now I can actually get pulling guard, pulling wing, pulling guard, pulling tackle, pulling wing, who's really on a mic pull, pulling tailback. So if you're keeping count there, coaches, you're going to have a guard, a guard, a tackle, a wing, a wing, and a tailback. So you're going to get a quarterback run play with six pullers in front, okay? And I really, really like that because what it does is, is there's just there's just a freight train of people coming around the horn over there, okay? And it really is inspired by, um, for those of you that might be aware of it, is, is what Tim Murphy does um, now at Clayton Valley, used to be at Clovis East, uh, out in California with his double wing package. And I really, really like what he does. Um, so here's a, another variation of it. If you're looking to kind of give yourself some other backfield questions on it, here's a couple of the ways you can do it. And I'm doing quarterback run stuff um, right now, so I get that. But now you're you're only missing that that H back, which would be our fullback right there. Okay, just to give you another set. Okay, something something different to chew on here. Um, so I'm going to put them in an over front. I'm going to put the star that's what we call the nickel out there we're going to assume run heavy posture so we might even get another player down in the box um, cheat that strong safety down uh let's see get a couple linebackers in there we're going to get a lot of loaded box okay we're going to get people down in there now we're going to run a ton of power right there we're going to run a ton of counter a ton of zone duo we're going to run to the tight end a lot so i'm assuming they're going to load up and add people to the tight end well, here's the beauty of this. Now, I'm going to get a reach block right there. Okay, I'm going to get a guard pull. I'm going to get a down block. Okay, well, that center has no down. Okay, he can't down block it, but there's nobody in the next gap. So he's back on an auto reach call. Okay, now I'm pulling the backside guard. Okay, now we'll do it a couple different ways. Just depends upon what we're getting. A lot of times we're in tight splits. So we'll decide whether we're going to pull that tackle or not. Um, sometimes we will, sometimes we won't. So right now I'm going to show him in a cutoff position, and I might make an erase call where now we're going to pull that backside tight end. Okay. The beauty of this is that H-back, let me change colors here. That H-back is now on a kickout path. Okay. So we're going to block, we're going to block. The first thing he finds outside, he's going to kick out. Okay. Because what our whole theory is, we're going to kick. And then we're going to pull as many people around the horn as we possibly can. And that tailback's going to add to the equation. Okay. So it does take a little bit of nuance. You got to decide who you're going to pull. Um, as a default rule, we'll go into each week deciding who we're going to pull on this play. Okay. So let's say we're playing an odd front team. And again, you can get in whatever, you can really get into whatever set you want to get into. Um, so here, this is a huge power alert play. That's what we call Portland is that set. Okay, so it's going to look an awful lot like 
power right there. They're going to load the box up, put seven guys in the box, probably play too high and use the safeties as the adjusters. Okay, well, if we're running this hybrid play, and we're going to block the corner, we're going to reach that guy right there, and we're going to be pulling a guard. Okay, now the center has nobody to block back on, so he's reaching. Okay, it does require you to teach a little bit more than what Buck Sweep or Pen and Pull does, where we have auto calls built in. Um, so again, this is sort of a play on the Trojan play from Tim Murphy, but if you can't down block, you're going to reach. Okay, the guards are both going. Okay, and that second guard's really on a mic pull. If the mic tries to run through, he's going to collect that guy. So I should really draw it like that. Okay, now who's pulling on the backside? Just depends. Just depends. If it's an odd front, we're going to pull that backside tackle. If it's an even front, a lot of times we're going to cut him off and I'm going to pull the tight end, knowing that the tight end's probably never going to get there. But now I can get the tailback and the H back coming through the horn. Now, what you get is that kind of thing, but really that kind of thing. It's just another way to get sort of an outside zone call. So I alluded to it. Let me give you a look at what happens if you get an odd front. Um, I'm just going to keep a fairly, fairly standard formation. Um, let's put that guy right there. Okay, again, that's going to that's going to be a big power alert to the open side if you're playing us. Okay, now we're going to go an odd front with this play. So I'm going to get something like this. Might be one high. Might get that extra safety down the box right there. Okay, well now. I'm going to get reach at the point of attack, reach at the point of attack, pull, reach, pull. Okay, that guy could hit wherever. On the backside, if I don't feel like they're a heavy pinch influence, I'm gonna pull that second guy too. And I'm gonna pull the H, and I'm gonna send the tail back around, and I'm gonna bring the quarterback to the party. Okay, this is not a play I'd run 15, 20 times a game, but it is a great student body right, student body left play um, that can really get you a lot of extra pullers to the point of attack. And I just think it's a really, really good way um, to outnumber people when they are coming down hard trying to play your power and counter off tackle game. Okay, so just a little variation for you um, from what we do in the, in the S2A system. Okay, so find us uh, on social media at S2A system, or you can follow me directly. Uh, I can be found at Coach Target. Hopefully you're following our YouTube page. Um, hit us up. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. We'd love to chat with you. Love to interact with you online. So I hope this student body right, student body left play is useful to you. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help you out. Thanks a lot, coaches.